Today's video is about a um, very interesting topic about why your uh, derailleur, especially in the rear one, is not uh, functioning, let's say, very precisely. It's well known this, uh, we're noticing this for the last 10 years uh, when some changes in materials uh, uh, were different uh, by the manufacturers on the lower arm uh, let's say uh, main pivots now you can see this is uh, I think it's from Shimano Diore or maybe some other derailleur and you can see this pin in here it's still uh, quite in normal, uh, quite in normal uh, shape. It has a constant groove in here, and this is where the spring comes uh, in, and this is inserted in the uh, derailleur. Now the problem is uh, there are many cases, and I'm I'm talking about hundreds of cases that we are facing. That on some, if let's say you have a cassette of sprockets and these sprockets on in some range derailleur works fine it's very precisely when it comes to some certain positions derailleur start to have some lag or let's say that it's not in correct position uh, the reason for that is many people will say yeah they change the shifters they change the chain they change the sprocket but it's still the same uh, no one very rarely very rarely mechanics and all the workshops uh, workers will suspect this pin. We always check this pin before we start changing some parts. In here uh, we can show you the case, this is from DI2 derailleur, uh, I think it's Ultegra, and you can see the pin, how it's deformed in here. You can see in here it's still okay, it's okay, it's okay, on some uh, rotational uh, angle you can see in here in the front there is deformation becomes the shape underneath you can see it changes now it's square now it will become in here on the upper part at 12 o'clock you see it's not a square anymore so the problem is in here when the lower arm is at some position let's say in this case it's at in some position when you switch to different gears it works okay because there is no axial uh, ply which you don't see it because it's always under tension under the spring so when you go into the certain positions when this deformation occur this lower arm despite you shift at a certain uh, stroke the shifter do its job but derailleur because of this gap in here happens shifts a little bit more because the spring is pushing pushing this out another force that is pushing this out is chain crossing when you cross the chain let's say bigger uh, gear bigger uh, chain ring in the front and bigger sprocket in, in the rear it has additional pulling force in this direction and this is why this damage happens especially for the people who does not use the the gears in the right manner as the manufacturer uh, is uh, prescribing and another point of view is that this pin it used to be made from hardened steel some Campagnolo derailleurs and some SRAM derailleurs had hardened pin and in the recent 10 years or let's say in the last seven more than seven years uh, these pins are made from soft metal and I don't know my personal opinion is that these engineers who are designing this maybe they find some uh, cheaper solution if they use this cheaper material the manufacturing of this is easier you don't change many cutting tools so frequently because you have softer materials but the problem is that this stuff wears off very quickly this one 8,000 kilometers I think and it was deformed like that another reason for this is 
one is chain crossing another thing is not enough hard material and the third thing is if you drive on the rough surface this is always swinging always swinging and it's rubbing inside another thing is with people are washing bikes with the uh, jet washers and so on different degreasers and so on it comes inside this stuff becomes very dry when you have dry metals together it will sooner or later it will grind off uh, another one so how do we fix this we basically grind this off we make this from hardened uh, hardened uh, steel then we uh, make heat treatment and then we install back inside and we press with the special tool i think it's one ton or two tons of press uh, to deform this area because we harden only this area in here uh, and this is a warning to everyone uh, who is buying the bikes and thinking oh yeah i bought the latest dura ace or sram top-notch uh, group set i can tell you personally it's a junk it's very junky uh, uh, stuff some cheaper derailers have hardened pins maybe it's heavier maybe it's more hard to manufacture it but ask your mechanic how frequently he checks this stuff because you will save a lot of money and time before they will start changing your uh, shifting li uh, levers uh, derailers uh, chain rings uh, sprocket chains and so on so thanks for watching sayonara